In this video, we are going to show how to incorporate a map into your SSRS report. As you can see right here, we have a very simple data set with state province ID, territory ID, country region code, and a state province name. And then we're also including total due and ship date here as well. So if we go to our toolbox and expand our report item drop down, you can see we have a map. We can simply drag it onto our canvas. We have a number of different options. You can include sh shape files if you want to import them in there. You can also use the maps from the gallery. You can also use a spatial query if your SQL Server instance is prepared for that. Today what we're going to do is we're going to use USA by State Exploded. I'm simply exploding the map here. Go ahead and hit next. And so you can crop the map as you see fit. We're going to keep it the same, uh, but we're going to remove some of the items that don't make any sense a little bit later. So for example, our, two, our legend here, we may not want to show that, or a uh, spatial may not be important as well. You can also change the map resolution for those systems that might be a little slower. Um, or you can add a Bing's map layer if you want to show more uh, graphically diverse data. But for right now, we're just going to keep this. And then you have a number of different choices. You can choose a bubble map so that you can show the different uh, provinces or cities that might have values. A basic map that just shows sales territories and you just feed it in data. And that's almost a pure graphical representation. Or you can choose my favorite, which is a color analytical map, which allows you to see a number of different factors as a graphical representation of data. Next here, we're going to choose a data set right here. And as you can see here, the map is expecting a couple of different options to match the spatial data to the analytical data, uh, your numbers, your amounts. Uh, state FP, which is this numerical right here, which is included in our state province ID, STUSPS, which is our USPS code right here, or state province or a state name. Depending on how you have your data, you may want to use any one of these. So we're going to go ahead and use all three and just show you how to map them. So for our state FP, we're going to go ahead and use our state province ID. For uh, STUSPS, we're going to use our state province code. And for our state name, we're going to use our state province name. Now notice here, Puerto Rico is here as well, so it may not display that data depending on that. So you may want to exclude or include um, data depending on what your mapping options are. Go ahead and next here. And then we can choose a number of different things. So for example, we're going to choose our force theme. And as you can see, it changes our green, our background to green and applies some formatting differential. You can also choose your green, yellow, red your color rule. So depending on whether smaller is better or worse, uh, you can do whatever you want to do here. We're going to switch this to red, yellow, and green because less sales is bad in this instance. We're going to also change our field to visualize to our sum of total due. Okay, As you can see, it's adding a number of different things. You can also choose to display labels here as well. And depending on what you want to do, the state FP is obviously the number that went in, um, but we can also choose uh, the sum of the total due here as well. Go ahead and click finish. And now let's tidy up the map a little bit so it's, uh, it changes what we're looking at. So right here we're going to right click and not show our distance scale and we're going to include our color scale here, but we're going to remove our legend so that we have a little bit more room inside of our map and expand our canvas a little bit and expand our item here so it, it shows up a little larger on our screen. And then if you'd like, you can also change your map title. So your title properties, for example, we can change this to uh, total due by state for 2012, whether to center or align it. Um, you can also set your visibility and your font, so we'll increase our font and change our font style. 
Okay. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and click preview here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and preview. As you can see, we're only showing our total dues over a number of different highlighted regions, Alaska, Texas, etc. So when we come into our preview here, you can see that our values show here, but our entire chart is broken down by our different range there. Now there's a lot of other things that you can do with this, including adding multiple layers, adding different city level data, and doing point analysis. You can include this and link to another report so that you can go down from a top level report to a detailed level report. That's it for maps today with SSRS. Check back for our YouTube videos for other interesting things that you can do with SQL Server SSRS.